In the reading from Isaiah, it says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. The term epiphany means a revealing. Epiphany and theophany talk about an unveiling or a mystery. And I don't know if there's any time in our lives that is... I don't know if there's any time in our lives that we need a revealing of God more than right now. But what I'm saying to you today is that arise and shine for your light has come. It doesn't say arise and shine because your light is going to come. It says arise and shine for your light has come. Isaiah 60, it also says that then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy because of the abundance, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you and the wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. What happens, my friends, is that the revealing power of the Lord Jesus Christ has come to us. It's not a mistake that you are here listening to this right now. It's not a mistake that we are gathered here this day listening to this word. Because our future seems dark. Our future seems dismal. If you're looking at it through natural eyes. But the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal purpose, is that God has revealed God has sent His Son. The light has come. In fact, the Ephesians reading says this. The Apostle Paul is saying, To me who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given me that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Now if we come to think about it, this says that there are unsearchable riches of Christ. Well, sometimes I don't feel like I've got a lot of riches. I don't feel like I'm partaking of the unsearchable riches of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next verse says, And to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ, to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus. God had an eternal purpose and he accomplished it in Christ Jesus. And his plan is that this manifold wisdom, this mystery, would be revealed by us, by the church, to even the angels and the principalities. But all too often our practical experience is we think the angels know more about what's going on than we do. But if we would seek God, we can allow His life, His light, to rise and live big within us. So that's my word of challenge this day. Arise, shine, because your light has come. Don't just sit there like a bump on a log. Arise and shine. Amen. Amen. Amen.